Hey folks, so today I want to talk a little bit about uh, how I restored my TIE Fighter pilot boots. I'm um, also my uh, Imperial Bridge Crew boots. Um, I got them from uh, an online seller and when they arrived they were showing their age, right? Because these boots were made in the 70s and 80s uh, and they've gone through probably, you know, a number of users and they've gotten a little worn down. And so I've been watching a lot of videos about how to restore boots, how to restore leather. Um, and so I wanted to try a lot of those tricks uh, to restore these. Now, these may not be, I don't want to like a one size fits all, like tell you how to restore your boots. Um, if something I'm doing seems like, oh, that might damage the boots to you, don't do it. Uh, these are just what I use to work on my boots, okay? So your mileage may vary. And uh, so these are the boots. I uh, just finished uh, restoring them to the way, I, the way I wanted them. And I'll show you before and afters and I'll show you the process, all right? So when I first got my boots, uh, the leather was in pretty bad shape. Uh, it had grown old and stiff. It hadn't been conditioned in years. Uh, it had a lot of waxy shoe polish uh, that had gotten flaky and cracked over the surface. And then the lack of conditioning on the leather meant these cracks uh, did extend deeper into the leather. So the leather was cracked quite a bit. Um, you couldn't quite tell it from a distance, but close up it had this feeling of like dry, brittle leaves if you touched it. Uh, and the boot leather was so stiff that I couldn't put my feet in it. Uh, so like I couldn't actually put the boots on. So the first thing to bring the leather back is to wash them. And I'm, I'm washing them with uh, saddle soap here. And both the washing uh, and the use of water, like the adding of water, starts to soften the leather, uh, starts to not really condition it because if you let it dry out from being wet, uh, it'll get stiff again. Um, but really it's about kind of bringing this leather back to life, bringing some moisture back into, into the leather and getting a lot of that grime and dirt off of there and starting to remove some of the old uh, wax polish that's been built up in there and is starting to crack. So right out of the wash, you don't want these to get stiff. You want to apply a leather conditioner right to it as, as soon as you can. And again, these, these things are really stiff and they're starting to soften up with the warm water. Um, so we want to keep that going. Um, I got this uh, Hubert's shoe grease, which I was using as a leather conditioner. And you just slap this on like really strongly and let it sit a couple hours even. Um, and that, that really started to um, undo the damage, the kind of brittle damage uh, that the age had done to the boots. And then you go in and you wipe, you start wiping it off. And as I was wiping it off, I was realizing, if you listen to this next clip, So what you're hearing is there's a lot of cracked uh, surfaces there and cracked wax uh, from old uh, waxy shoe polish that's built up. And that's what gives it this feeling of dry, brittle leaves. Um, now, the leather was softened by the shoe grease and the washing enough so that I could finally get the shoes on, uh, over, you know, over my feet, but it still, it needed, uh, I needed to go further with kind of taking off all of this cracked material and really, you know, getting back to kind of the healthy leather, which is deeper inside the boot. So I started sanding the boots down. Um, no, that's where this might be something that you don't want to do with your boots. And I totally understand that this is something like, uh, you know, a, a more drastic step, right? Uh, and I used uh, coarser sandpaper and then finer and finer sandpaper uh, to make it smoother and smoother. Um, and I wanted to be very careful and only sand the parts that really needed it and stay away from sanding over any of the stitching so that, uh, you know, I'm not actually weakening any of the, uh, the leather stitching. Um, I also made sure I'm really only sanding uh, the parts in the 
the part of the boot that uh, has to move the most, right? So I'm not doing the uh, toes or the heels or the leather upper. It's really the this middle part of the throat of the boot um, that had the worst cracking, and that's the part that's going to have to move the most uh, as you walk. So I want to be very careful with that. Um, but yeah, I took off a lot of the outer layer of old cracked wax outside here and um, kind of the top part of the crack. So all the light cracks are gone. There are still some deep cracks um, and um, this um, wrinkling part of the leather here, um, you know, those we keep because that's part of the uh, character of the boots. And then we want to recondition the leather again. So uh, gonna use more of this uh, shoe grease and get it on there and, and leave it there for about an hour and then wipe it off. And then we're ready to uh, start polishing up and adding color back to the boots. So to apply color, uh, use this uh, shoe cream. So it's not like a wax shoe polish, which has a little bit of color in it. Uh, this stuff has a lot of color. And so what's gonna do is it's, it's just gonna make uh, every, everywhere where we took the black color off of the boots, we're just gonna go over actually the entire boot and completely reintroduce the black color. Putting a little bit uh, on the toe caps so that you kind of dingy them back a little bit so that they're not super shiny so they match the uh, film reference. And then you go ahead and wipe the uh, excess of uh, shoe cream off and then give it brushing and you'll start to bring the shine back. And then to get them fully shiny, I'm using this uh, military boot polish, um, which is uh, a wax polish. So you wanna be very careful with this. You don't want to go overboard uh, and make anything other than the toes and the heels super shiny because anything else can crack. Uh, but a very gentle uh, shine everywhere else is fine. Uh, with this kind of a wax shoe polish as long as you remove it from time to time and make sure you condition your leather. And here they are all done. Um, the deep cracks are gone, uh, but even better than that, they are soft and they are pliable. Um, they no longer, <laughs> they're no longer kind of about to fall apart. Um, and they're just, uh, way better looking um, and they should last me a good long time so anyway if you decide to follow any of these let me know how it works out for you and have fun mm -hmm.